and I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Pink feel like I'm ready to bend. I'm a ten, so I pull in a can. Like Jazzy, Stacy, Ricky, all of the Barbies is pretty. Damn, all of the Barbies is bad. It girls, and we ain't playing tag. took down um, I had it up like that yesterday so I took it down I was gonna wash it because I wanted to wet it and let it be like a natural fall but I decided not to do that <clears throat> I just got out the shower so I'm gonna put on me some deodorant first Get out of my room. I'm really mad that I bought this deodorant and it's not working. But you see all this extra stubborn fat that I have here. I mean, it's not a lot. Of course, I'm gonna be like, girl, you're fine, just work out. Bitch, shut up. I hate when people say that. I'm like, just work out, just work out. Bitch, you don't even work out. <laughs> I'm gonna do it all. When you got money, you do what you want, not what you can. So, that's why I got feels in thick. So I want to slim down and then work out. Because if I work out, this is going to turn into muscle. And I don't want it to do that. So I'm not trying to be bulky. Like, y'all, that's got to go. I really hate that this was, like, acting like that. I just bought it. And then I got me some booty deodorant. So I feel like a good booty deodorant is any type of deodorant that is all natural. I don't care what any of y'all say. It's like an armpit down here. So always put something on down there, whether it's coconut oil, whether it's um, a booty deodorant, always put something in the crevices and back there. So I put me on a, this is a 24 hour protection, natural deodorant. It is, um, it smells rose. I honestly don't really ever use a rose and vanilla deodorant down there. I honestly like a baby powder fresh scent deodorant down there. It's just way more pleasing to me. I mean, who really wants to smell like lavender? But oh yeah, who wants to smell like lavender and peaches and stuff down there? Not me. That's not, that's not natural. Like, it's not supposed to smell like peaches down there. Baby powder, yeah. But peaches and stuff, I'm gonna be like, girl, why did you put all that down there? So, but I just ordered my baby powder soft deodorant that I always have. I lost my card, so I was at Kroger's just getting what they had. And then I already put some vitamin E oil on my face. I put this on my face and on my feet. Uh, vitamin E oil is really, really good for tightening your skin. I am getting a little older, I'm 29 now, and you wanna prevent wrinkles before they happen. So I've been doing what I can to make sure that I prevent any wrinkles from appearing on my face. But you see that? A little bit, it's not, it's not bad, but I don't want that. I want it like this. So I have to lose weight. And then my lotion. So I like to use this at, um, Hawaiian Tropic. Sorry, my hair is just like a mess. Actually, I'm gonna put my bonnet back on until I'm ready to do my hair because I don't like getting oil or anything like that in my hair. Or else then I will have to wash it because I do not like oil in this hair. It doesn't look right. This hair has to be slinky. All right, so I'm gonna leave that on until I'm ready to do my hair. <clears throat> but yeah, I like this after sun lotion. My mom used to always use this and it smells so good. Because you know, we gotta protect ourselves from the UV rays. Get out of my room. 
Can't wait to get a gate. I need to get a gate for my door because I'm so tired of telling her to get out. Because they have all this space. I don't always want them in my space. You know, I love my baby so much, but we need our own, our own rooms in our own space. You hear them up there beating each other up? When they bite me, it hurts. So I can only imagine the way they be biting each other. Like, they're going to be tough. They be biting the shit out of each other. I'll be like, God, I ain't even let <laughs> Y'all gonna take one of somebody eyeball out. No, this is not my phone. But I found this backup phone I needed for my business phone. I found it in my closet and it works just fine. It actually works really good. I have been staying consistent, getting this money, trying to get back on the schedule. So that's all I've been on, girl. All right, so let's get this lace together. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and probably put my hair like I had it yesterday. Um, Looking kind of cute down. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back up because I don't want to deal with it today. <laughs> Man is spending all this money on his hair and you don't even want to deal with it. Like, because it's so long. long. Hair like this has to be put in the back. Like, it needs to just sit there. You're not supposed to be just playing with this kind of hair. It's just, just sit in the back like that. So I'm actually going to go ahead and put my hair back up like I had it yesterday. <clears throat> and this isn't really a get ready with me. So I'm going to just check in with y'all when I'm doing my hair. All right, sis. So this is, this is how we look and this is how we look. This is how, I was going to straighten all the way through, but I was like, man, I'm not trying to put heat on my hair every single day. I'm not going to lie. I love the way she laid it because I'm able to lay my lace easily. And I also go over my lace with some oil, which I don't know if you should or shouldn't do that. But the reason why I put oil on my lace is because I want my lace to blend. I want it to blend. So I just dab oil on my lace and it doesn't come up because I'm not like rubbing it in. I just put it on there because I do not want you to see this lace at all. And I feel like the oil seeps through and gives it a more natural look. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna wipe here on my forehead. That way the oil isn't like too down. And yeah, there we go. No, what the hell? And I also put the oil too because it's gonna grab that glue that's like just hanging around. It's like right here, there's some glue right there. Wipe that shit down because I cannot stand it when I can see my lace. I don't do baby hairs. If I need baby hairs, if you need baby hairs on your lace, it's because your lace is not um, laid right. And you shouldn't need no extra baby hairs that you wouldn't really have on your head. 
I'd be around really professional people. Last thing I want is to, to be looking at my lace. Spray one more time with the got to be spray. Hold up, I think that's some glue. Is that glue? Hold up. Okay, so I'm gonna spray one more time with the got to be spray. <clears throat> Let that seep into the lace, rub it in. push down a little. I'm not going to put the um, band on because I don't want it to press on up here. I just want the lace a little bit more invisible. This side of my lace is a little white, so hold on. Let me... So that's okay. I still want to look close, but like I could just see the whole thing. I just hate Elise. I cannot wait till my bangs grow back in. I think it's so hilarious too. Like some people are just such haters. Like they'd be like, oh, you finally dyed your hair black because you were tired of your split ends. Like, could you imagine being so miserable inside that those are the things that you say to somebody that loves their life? Like, was that gonna hurt? Was that supposed to hurt my feelings? Because it didn't. Like, at all. I honestly saw my hair with black hair in some pictures, and I realized, damn, I look fucking sexy with that black hair. And because I have good hair, I switch my hair whenever I want to. Because I got money, I can go buy some good hair to put on. You know what I mean? Like, 
you would be saying like really weird things. It's like, you weird. Weird as fuck. Baby, you miserable, not me. I'm happy, not, you're not. <laughs> Look how that works. <clears throat> At least I'm not sitting up watching another bitch. I don't even watch bitches on YouTube. If we don't meet in real life, I'm not gonna sit up and watch you. I'm probably gonna even watch you then. I'll probably just check you out. I don't have time to sit up and watch nobody. I'm, I'm living my life and having to record it while I'm doing it. So like, I win, you lose type situation. Was that supposed to hurt my feelings? Cause you're watching me. Who are you again? What do you even look like? Like what? I know you a hater if you're in the comments saying stuff like that, because I get love. I get love all day. My booty is just so. Mm, 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 mm. All right. finally right around rush hour but that's okay so i'm gonna first stop and grab um i'm actually gonna go ahead and stop at kroger's real, real quick to get my produce i'm gonna go ahead and grab me some fruit and some salad um i'm gonna try to be on my little diet my car is really loud right now so i'm so sorry if y'all can hear it because i know i can hear it you hear that time for a new car baby it's time for a new car so I'm excited about that. We're going to get a new car. I'm keeping this car, though. I'm not selling it. Some people were telling me to trade it in. Blah, 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 but you don't ever want to sell your stuff. If you really have money, you don't have to sell your things. And I don't need to sell my things. Like, I'm not selling my car. Why would I sell my car when I'm not going to even get half of what I spent for it? It has, I guess, you know, this is mine now. All I can do is fix it up. gonna keep my baby and I'm actually just I'm already in this lane so I'm just gonna go ahead and go to Total Wine and go grab me some liquor get a nice little selection I'm gonna get some whiskey some vodka tequila some wine some champagne and yeah that's about it mm. And then I need to go get some dog food. Child, when I tell you, at this point, they need a wick for puppies. Because I need to get some dog food and puppy food because they only have three cans left. So I'm gonna get some puppy food. I switched my dogs to fresh pet. They don't eat the hard food anymore. Um, so I'm gonna get them some fresh pet. I'm gonna get them two slabs this time. Probably four actually, because they're 20 bucks a piece. So I'll probably just go ahead and get them four slabs of fresh pet and um stock the puppies up on some food and get me some food and come home and drink and just wait for some money to come my way i'm gonna work on some paintings i'm gonna um, edit this vlog and i also need to send out some credit repair letters so let's get it girl and then i'm also gonna go out tonight so i'm gonna stop somewhere like at a little boutique and grab a couple like probably an outfit a couple outfits or whatever it's mon it's wednesday so i'm not gonna dress up too fancy uh, so yeah i got liquor store kroger's boutique let's get it hey ladies so i just left the liquor store i went and i got me some baka tequila brandy some whiskey some wine and i got body shots that whipped cream so now i'm about to head to the hookah shop and grab a hookah some shisha and some coal and since this car is taking forever i'm gonna go ahead and turn for them
Like, girl, what are you doing? Go. You got to make your way. If you're scared, other people going to be scared. Let me put my seatbelt. You got to take charge. You got to put your foot down. But I'm coming through. Y'all are going to wait for me. You see me coming, you're going to hit me or no. And I love this area because everything is near me. But I'm not going to show y'all where I go anymore because I do have stalkers. I have people that are obsessed with me. I low-key honestly love it if it's flattering that people are obsessed with me that much. But also I do realize, you know, an obsession can be very unhealthy. So I don't show where I go anymore. Um, I'm not going to show y'all the stores too much or anything like that. Because people are that crazy that they will like literally call. Um, so my the lady who did my hair said the she did somebody's hair before, and she that lady had stalkers, and her stalkers called her shop and was like, "Hey, you did my mom's hair." Um, I haven't seen my mom. Um, no, no, no. She said like, "Hey, you did my mom's hair. We love it. Is there any way you could send me my mom's number so I could ask her for pictures of the hair?" Like. Her stalkers are obviously contacting that hair lady to get the drop on her. So like for instance, I'm not even gonna show y'all who I go get my hair done by. Because my stalkers will try to contact the hair lady and be like, hey, I loved her hair. Um, do you know where she's at? Do you know her number? Can you send me her number so I can ask her about the hair? Like, y'all. It's honestly crazy, it's flattering, it's flattering. I mean, I'm not worried because I get down, so trust me, I'm not worried about nobody trying to like harm me, but I also want to do pre preventative of, of it because I like to have a good life. I like to smile, laugh, have fun. I'm not trying to worry about, oh my God, this person wants to hurt me because of, I don't know. Still don't understand it. But I just got to the hookah shop. I'm gonna go in here and get a hookah, some coals and some shisha, and then go get some food for me and the babies. Got my, got my merchandise. So we got the hookah, we got the liquor. Now let's go to the crib and get, oh, we gotta go to PetSmart first. Or no, let's go to Kroger's because I think Kroger's might have fresh pet and the puppies are okay for right now. I won't have to go get them no food until the day after tomorrow because they have one can for dinner. I'm getting back onto feeding them twice a day um because they're weaned off their mom pretty much but now i have to start weaning them off of me spoiling them because the new home that they go to they may not sorry hold on let me move out this way um the new home that they go to the you know their owner may or may not feed them a lot so i don't want them to be too used to eating a lot And be crybabies and then the next check that i get i'm gonna go buy them a new bed and new houses i'm actually gonna order it offline i only went out today because i can't order wine and liquor offline because I, I don't have my id id i have my passport and there's an app that you could do it through but whatever and then hookah obviously that's tobacco so i can't order that either so now let's go get this food Cause I'm hungry, I haven't ate yet. And, yay. Right around the corner from the house. So everything that I needed was right here, which I love. I just now need to find me a hair lady out here. I'd be so scared to let anybody that's not of color to do my lace. I feel like black women do lace the best. And I don't really want to have to cuss somebody out for something I knew better than to do like seriously so I gotta find me a dope ass black girl out here that does good lace so if y'all know about anybody in the North Dallas area that does a good lace let me know I spent two thousand dollars on my hair I will pay her good but I'm not gonna just let anybody touch my lace I'm gonna go after this car right here these cars and go or are you gonna wait oh 
Oh, Total Wine is right here. And Petco is right here too. So I'm going to actually whip into Petco. Because um, there is a PetSmart, but it's way over there. So I'm going to actually whip into this Petco and see if they got what I need for my puppies. Because if so, then everything that I need is right along this way. So let's see where Petco, they got a subway over here. I'm not gonna name out the stores because y'all y'all think I'm playing, I really have stalkers, like people that are obsessed with me. Like if I was to name one of these stores, I guarantee they would go on their map right now and look up the stores. And if, if I was to ever show like any area of my house, they would look up the store and look through every single place of houses until they find some garages or whatever that looks like mine, which is why I don't post anything anymore. Like there's this baby mama, Danasia, my ex, Tyler, his baby mama, Danasia is obsessed with me. She would do that. Roderick still is stalking me to this day. And then I got some new stalkers um, that stalked me after Roderick. But yeah, Roderick Taylor, Tyler's baby mama, Danasia, she's from Arlington and um, some little new stalkers. But yeah, those two stalked me so hard. I wish the baby mama would move around. Like, how are you obsessed with me because your, your nigga was with me? How are you obsessed with me because of that? And then Roderick, dude, I've, I've been left you alone for like two weeks. I've been, don't fuck with you. How are you, why are you stalking me? Because you were a sugar daddy of mine who I don't want no more. Cause you're fucking psychotic. Seriously. It's crazy how people stalk me for that. <sighs> Sorry, a little spit going on there. <sighs> Y'all, stuff I be dealing with from being pretty and amazing. Beautiful and amazing comes with hell. Yeah, I am headed home. This white boy was just staring at my lace so hard. See, this is why I don't like lace. I don't know how to lay it myself. But I'm going to the house. I just got their food. It's been 150, kind of more than I was expecting. But then again, I got the dog's food, my baby's food, not my grandchildren. Yeah, he was staring at my lace hard. So yeah, I'm finna go and fix it. I'm actually gonna just shower, put some whatever alcohol on it and get it off, lift it up, scrape all that glue off and just use got to be spray. I mean, because I don't mind doing my lace every single day because it's not much you have to do other than just put the hairspray on and it'll stay. Um, But no, like don't be looking at my lace like that. Damn, dude some respect <laughs> of some respect and hopefully my man can buy my food tonight because I don't want to spend no more money so hopefully my man brings me dinner he usually always feeds me though like that's really why I like him so much like he feed me and see I like him because he's a man so for instance if I'm saying I'm hungry let's go eat he's not like where do you want to go eat he asked me what do I want to eat like what kind of food do you have a craving for? Do you want Italian? Do you want seafood? Do you want Mexican? What kind of food do you want? And I'd be like, you know what? I want seafood. And he'd be like, okay, meet me here. Thank you. You just helped me out so much. Cause I know what I want to eat. I just don't know where I want to go get it to eat at, you know? Well, I'm not gonna say he's my man yet, but he's definitely trying to be my man. I'm gonna sip on this because my mouth is dry. Oh, my hands feel like. Why do my hands feel like fish? Damn, this food smells through the bag. I cannot wait to get home to feed my puppies. Like, I got them some good food. So, did y'all know that this brand, Akana, that I feed my dogs, they make puppy food too? And then Origin. This other brand, they make dog food too, puppy food too. And then a can of makes wet food for all stages of life. And see, the only difference between puppy food and the adult wet food is just puppy food has way more protein in it. So you can honestly feed them um, other brands too and other than puppy food. So I get them all stages of life just now. 
and um my dogs i switched them to fresh pet i'm not feeding them that crude stuff i want them i want my dogs to live as long as they can um they mean the world to me and amara she means the world to me too so i've been definitely paying attention to their diet a lot more and then i also got her some hip and joint medicine because she's getting older me too like my joints are popping my joints are popping girl i'm only 29 so I'm like, we're not old. We're just grown. Like at 29, 30, you're grown as fuck. You're not old. You should have, you should be stable at 30. Like quit letting these people convince you that 30 is old. It's not. You need to be stable. You need to stay on your shit. 30 is the point where you either gonna make it or you not. So, and same for me. I need to start working out again. That's why I'm so glad I met this white girl named Jessica. Like she be in the gym. She be on her content. She knows how to go places by herself and have a good time. She doesn't need too much people. She don't need nobody around her to motivate her, to make her get up and do what the fuck she needs to do with her life. She gonna get up and do it by herself. And that, that's the kind of girls I wanna be around. That's the kind. That's why I moved out this way. Cause downtown Dallas is, the girls are fit that area. Like downtown Dallas is just ran through. It's ghetto, a lot. Same with the girls, you know, they're ghetto. They don't really got their shit together. It's just, it's a lot. So I wanna be around women this year, not, little grown ass well look grown ass little girls grown ass little girls i don't want to be around grown ass little girls this year well, let's get through this traffic and yeah, i'm gonna smoke on my little pen that i have it's like um it's like a cbd pen i love it honestly i didn't even have to get a hookah but uh I honestly want to have these for my car so I have something to smoke while I'm in the car because I don't want to smoke herb in my car anymore especially my new car I'll still hit this in my new car but <coughs> this car's all messed up <coughs> anyway <coughs> I forgot to get plastic cups though And I'm, I'm gonna check in with y'all when I get to the crib. All right. Let me show y'all what I got from the store. Take this all off. Oh. oh, someone is texting me. Oh, wait, no, that's my camera. I forgot. I just installed my security system now that I have Wi Fi, because I didn't have Wi Fi, obviously, at first. I wasn't even used to having to get Wi-Fi because my, where I used to live, it came included in the price. See, there they go, they're gonna start acting up. But when they start crying, I don't pay them no mind. It's the only way it's gonna teach them that no matter how much you cry, I'm not coming up there till I come up there. When I come up there, I'll be up there. Like, they're okay right now. They're used to eating every six hours, so I was supposed to feed them at one, but I've been spreading it out now. So I'm gonna feed them at 8 a.m., 5 p.m., and I'm gonna give them, um, Probably a little, I'm just gonna try that for a couple of days and see their tolerance level. Like see how much they cry, if I should be feeding them more. Oh, which phone? Oh yeah, let me turn off my security now that I'm here cause it's gonna keep going off in the motion. And I need to set up another security camera up there cause that one's not even gonna go there. That's gonna go in the puppy's room. Oh, that's my man. And he paying my rent. And he paying my three thousand dollar rent. Oh, that's right. Oh no, that's right. Oh no, that's right. Oh no, that's right. No, for I wasn't gonna let nobody sleep in my bed that wasn't paying my rent. You know I had to set that bed up by myself. And you know how hard that was, girl. But okay, so I got me some blueberry mint shisha. I got some coals. I wanted coconut coals, but they didn't have any. So I just went ahead and got these for now. And I'm gonna order some from Amazon. And then I got this small hookah. I didn't want to get a big old hookah because we're at the crib and I'm going to be carrying this around and stuff. So I just got a nice little hookah. I didn't get any tips. <gasps> I just broke this. Oh no. That's the thing that sits the coals in. I got super glue, hold on. Where is it at? Upstairs. <clears throat> All right, so 
I did not know that this was in there. So it just fell right out and it broke. It's still hanging on, so I'm gonna super glue it from the outside. Before it starts to break for real. It'd be stupid to put super glue inside, right? Because it's gonna get hot in there anyway. Oh, I'm so mad about that. I don't wanna break it. I'm gonna put some super glue anyway. What was I saying? I was saying I set that bed up by myself. The mattress, the king size mattress, I had to put that on everything I set up by myself. I didn't, everybody was working, I didn't feel like waiting on anybody. So you crazy if you thought I was gonna let anybody come sleep in my bed that ain't paying my bills. No, absolutely not. After I got done setting that bed up and I laid in there, I was like, oh, I'm not letting nobody sleep in my bed. <laughs> like, I'm running out of lip gloss. I have some more upstairs, but I just went from up there and I don't feel like I'm going up there again. Okay, so hopefully that works, but this is the hookah. So it's not even green. So this is false advertisement. Oh, the color is on here. So it's that color. That's cool. I really don't even care what color it is. I could spray paint that. Oh, it's still drying. Hold on me. Those are your babies. Stay up there with them for a little bit. So, obviously it's only a one person hookah. I didn't get any tips. Oh wait, ain't this supposed to go on first? Oh wait, is this supposed to go? Tongs. I already have tongs, so I have a couple tongs. Which ones do I like better? I actually like these better. So I'm gonna put these with this one. And then where would I have my hookah? I don't know. So for now, I'm gonna just put it here. And the shisha and stuff. I'm gonna have this dresser. So we got hookah now. And I already got the coal burner over there. I traded my homegirl my stud finder for her hookah burner. <laughs> she needed to hang a TV, so we switched out. And the trash comes tomorrow. I need to come on. And this is the stuff I got for my dogs. I got some Ollie hip, hip joint for Camila. Mainly, mainly Omar, but Camila's getting older too. And then I went and got some puppy food, the Norwegian brand. I didn't even know they had puppy food. They make really good food. And so I was so excited to see this. They don't have this at PetSmart from what I saw. I had never saw this at PetSmart, not this brand or a canna. And I know these brands, these are the brands that I feed my dogs. And so I was like, yes, I'm gonna get this for the puppies. Like I love feeding my puppies good food and different foods. I don't want them to eat the same puppy food every day. I want them to have, you know, some flavor while they're with grandma. So we got them some fish, we got beef, we got duck, 
and we got lamb meat. And then I got them these smart bones because Isabella is chewing on my door. So whoever buys Isabella, I'm warning you now, she's a door chewer. So I'm gonna try to stop that in, an, in the butt right now. And so I got them some of these um, peanut butter bones, the rawhide bones, um, they were not eating them. Like, I guess it's too hard, no flavor, so they didn't really care too much. These are peanut butter. Oh wait, no, these are real chicken. Oh, I was hoping, I didn't even read it. I was hoping these were peanut butter. Oh, I'm sure they still got a taste though. And then this is the dog food that I feed my dogs now. I feed them fresh pet loaves. Uh, this is vital. I got them the turkey one. Kai, what's up, baby? Relax. And then I also got them the chicken one. I only, this is the only kind of food that I feed my dogs now with whole grains. If you, oh, that is what stinks. Okay. Yeah. Um, grain free is not necessarily good for your dog's heart. So always make sure you're feeding your pets whole grain. Read it because you will think it got grains and like it, even some um, wet foods, I'll read them and it says grain free and I'll have to put it back because we don't feed grain free over here. We want whole grains. Unless your um, vet tells you that your dog does not need grains, feed your dog grains. There's nothing wrong with feeding your dog grains. So yeah, I always make sure I read it. It says whole grains. This says with whole grains on it and whole grains. And then this one also says and whole grains. And then with that, because my man does not like to come in here and see dog food laying around um, or in the fridge, but since they have fresh pet, I sometimes have to put it in the fridge. So I'm so glad I saw this. They did not have this at PetSmart. Um, this is for their meat loaves. So that way I can have their loaves in the fridge and it's extendable without someone thinking that, like, ew, that's messy. So, Excited about this. Put this up. I'm actually gonna go ahead and pop one open and put one in here because they need to eat and they haven't ate yet. Go ahead and get their food together. I'm gonna feed them turkey recipe with carrots, brown rice, and spinach. I'm gonna give them turkey today for dinner. Cause they had, I believe they had, um, and it doesn't necessarily need to be frozen, so I put it in my fridge in the bottom. And then these will go upstairs with the puppies. So go in this bag, along with these wipes. And the I still need to get a trash can. I still don't have a trash can yet. I left my trash can at the last place. Um, and these are for Omara, so I'm gonna put these in this drawer. Right now, I'm gonna actually put these in the cupboard. Have her own little cabinet, so it's gonna. Oh, you know, that's good. So, their food's actually, their little shit's gonna be here. It's gonna be for them. The puppy stuff is upstairs. My battery packs for my camera. And let me show y'all what liquor I got. So I got some Sky liquor, the vodka. Um, I honestly just got this for my bar. This, they always have this at the nail shop. And it's just, you know, for my friends when they come over and they want something to drink. So I didn't really get like top shelf type of liquors. Just got some stuff for the friends and I still need to get a bar area. Um, and I got some Jose Cuervo for the tequila. I got some red wine. I got some vanilla whipped cream for body shots. Or, you know what, I'm feeling a little freaky. Some brandy. I don't really drink any of this stuff. <laughs> I've never drunk Palmason. Uh, I drink Sky Vodka, um, red wine. I've never, I don't really drink this tequila, but I didn't want to get like 
crazy big stuff you know what i mean because when i go out that's what i do like when i go to the bar i'll get some um don julio or when i go to the club i'll get a bottle of moet so i don't really care about having top shelf stuff here at the crib it's just some stuff to get me by while i'm you know working or if i want a little shot or whatever and then for whiskey evan williams so i only spent about like hundred dollars at the um liquor store this was 12 nine dollars i think this was nine dollars and this was twelve dollars girl i was like what okay and then this was eighteen dollars like i wasn't gonna spend like i wasn't gonna go crazy and yeah so i'm gonna put this up i cannot wait till they come get this trash and i guess for now ow Shake it, whip it. So you feel your whip shots drop so that flavor goes fluid. So you party like Cardi. Whip shots, vodka infused whipped cream. Cute. on the counter until I get the coffee table. Cool. Go take this up here to the puppies. Hi babies. Let's get you some food in your bellies. So this is where the puppies are at right now. This is their playtime area. So when I don't have them in their kennel, they're out here. Look at y'all, what are you doing? No, this is supposed to be upright. So I've been noticing that they're not responsible, obviously. <laughs> and look what Isabella's been doing over here. She has been eating door. She just started that, so I got her some bones. And so when I'm gone, um, well, not when I'm gone, they're usually in this kennel, but obviously they're getting older and they want to play. So I let them out for about an hour or two and leave their pee pads out. They've been doing really good so far with peeing on the pee pads, so that's good. I'm excited that say that they'll be potty trained by the time they find their new homes. And this is their closet here. So in their closet, this is also my storage closet, but this is their closet mainly. So in here I have their pee pads. I gotta order some more, some spoons to scoop out their food. I have some plastic plates at first when they were babies to teach them to eat off of stuff. Um, and then I have their food bowls. Uh-uh, no, no. She just bit the hell out of me. <laughs> and then I also have the vacuum cleaner and the carpet cleaner so I can shampoo the carpet and shampoo their grass and clean it. And this is where I keep their food. So they have three cans of a can of left and I love this food. This is, um, oh, this isn't even the right one. I thought this was a beauty one. So this is supposed to be to help their hair grow really fast, but I just not realize this isn't um, the right food. Wait till y'all try this food, babies. Y'all are gonna love it. Y'all are gonna love this food. And I'm gonna keep, I keep these bags in here for whenever I have to pick up their boo-boo or when I have to pick up their potty pads. They already have some bags in here, almost like a trash bag. I'm gonna leave that in here and get their bowls ready. We got five bowls. I wish we had eight. Three of the puppies did die. But that's okay. 
it won't happen again so i'm gonna go ahead and start them off with this puppy or region fish food and they're pretty content right now they're not acting up so that's good and it is it's just regular i thought it was gonna be in little chunks uh-uh don't bite me And they know that sound of the spoon hitting the bowl. They know what that means. I don't know, baby. I'm coming. And I don't let their crying get to me. I hardly ever get frustrated with them. Because they're puppies. They don't know no better. You have to teach them better. So if I don't let their crying phase me, they'll stop because they'll realize it's not doing anything and that it's okay. these little shitheads and I'm actually gonna go ahead and put no save that let's feed them this Ooh. put it in there but I need to clean up in here so I'm gonna go ahead and just put their food down here and let them eat You know, I'm gonna put it in here because they're just acting up right now. Uh, 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 uh. You wait, you wait your turn. Because I want them to learn manners, so I'm actually just gonna put it in here. And I can still clean up while they eat. All right, come on. teaching them language come on 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 Shiloh um, Isabella come on hey come on where's it fancy where's it fancy where's it fancy come on where's it fancy Come on, Wancy. Wancy Fancy. Wancy Fancy. Wancy Fancy. Come here. Come on. Come here, baby. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wancy Fancy. Where's your pansy? Come here, baby. Where's he? Where's your pansy? Where's your pansy? Where's your pansy? Where's he? Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Where's your pansy? Where's your pansy? shit for you? No. 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 Let me get him. So the two boys eat really fast. So let me get them some more.
boys, like literally to eat my boys. them one more can. they're full after that. I come to eat till they're full because I don't want to hear them crying. I want to know that they're good. I don't mind. I'm, and I fill their bellies too before I'm done to see, like, okay, she can eat some more. He's almost full. She can eat more. No, no, me. Look it out. Time job here. And I only clean this once a week, but I'm gonna start cleaning it twice a week because it smells like pee really bad. So I usually only clean out their kennel every Sunday, but it is smelling like, it's starting to smell like pee. So I'm gonna go ahead and carpet shampoo it. And um, well, I'm gonna sh car vacuum first, carpet shampoo, and just get it smelling good in here because it's smelling like pee really bad. You ain't good to them.
Hey y'all, it's your girl Malaysia. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be one of the first to be notified when I drop a new vlog. Don't forget, scared feet don't eat and a closed mouth won't get fed.